Welcome to the Blue Scissors Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blue Scissors Podcast. I'm Shannon. I'm James. I'm Jaja. And we are back bringing you all our thoughts on everything happening in nerd culture. It's a busy week this week, uh, D23. Uh, was this past weekend so we'll be talking about a lot of that stuff a lot of content that came out of there uh but before we get into that let's get into some nerdy things how are you guys doing or some nerdy things that you did this past week oh yeah yeah we're doing pretty good this past two weeks really huh two weeks yes because we were not we last week was Mm -hmm. holiday so we labor day weekend gave ourselves a break there I was telling Shannon before you came on, James, that I, I thought it was a nerdy week for me before all this D23 stuff happened. And, I, and mm-hmm. now, like, I feel like Jeez, it's all your nerdy things. <laughs> but um, I could go first and get it out the way. Right. Um, so Multiverses, of course, still playing that. We got a new character this week, Gizmo. Pretty cool. Gizmo, really got- Gizmo the... Gremlin? Where is he from? He's Gizmo. Yeah, he's a gremlin. He's a gremlin. Oh, like wow. Gremlin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Interesting. You know, I like I like the multiverses. They 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 can only go up from here. Like, <laughs> um, Rick and Morty. I watched. I don't know if y'all watched the first episode of the new season. Not yet. Oh, I did. I watched it. It was it was okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it was it was. I felt I felt like that episode was hard to follow just because of like if you didn't watch it from season one and know like the history. Like Rick and Morty usually isn't like that, where you have to like know the overarching yeah. storyline. So I'm wondering if they're trying to incorporate that a little bit more because I know that's been a demand to have like a arc, you know. An arc, yeah. So, so that was cool. Um, I watched House of Dragons, of course. We can mm-hmm. talk about that later. And I started the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Oh, can't wait to hear your thoughts about that. I have thoughts about that as well um it's, it's it's a must watch if you're a lord of the rings fan it's a must watch oh that's great that you say yeah. think yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> did y'all did y'all watch it or, or no um no. i watched the first episode but um i have pivoted away from it and it because mm. i've never seen lord of the rings so i'm like let me just watch lord of the rings first so um i guess so i i, I think it's a similar thing with, with house of dragons like if you didn't watch the original stuff, this stuff is the like prequel stuff. So you don't re- necessarily need to watch the original stuff because yes. it's going to lead into it. Like they talk yes. about the stuff that's happening now in the Lord yes. of the Rings. Yes, but I figured that I need to know something about the lore of Lord of the Rings. So I watched the first one. I watched The Fellowship of the Ring and I'm halfway through Two Towers. So, and those are really good. But um, I don't know. I found Rings of Power, the first episode, to be a little slow. Does it pick up? What are we, like, three episodes in now? So, I mean, in, <laughs> let's let's say in, like, I, halfway through the first episode, I was, like, I was ready to come on here and be, like, okay, this is an okay show. But by the end of it, I was, like, all right. Like, this ain't no Game of Stone level, like, plot twist or suspense. But, like, it turned up at the end. I was like, I'm invested. And then the, the second and I'm up to, I didn't see the third one. But the okay. second one was pretty good, too. Okay, so, you And know, then learning the characters that, like, are on the screen, like the elves. The, well, you didn't see Lord of the Rings, so you don't know. Well, I, I, saw the, the I, saw the first, I saw the first one and half of the second one. Right. But okay. you don't know, but the characters that they are in Lord of the Rings, they're like just OG elves, you know what I mean? And you're like, now you're seeing them in their glory days, pretty much. So, I mean, if you're if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, it, it feels like Lord of the Rings, I'll tell you that. And it's a whole different feel than Game of Thrones. It's more like mythical and magic and like, you know, different type of creatures, like fairy, yeah. fairy tale stuff. So I'm going to, I don't know. I'm gonna give it another chance, but I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish Two Towers and watch Return of the King first, and then I will come back and attempt it again. Hmm. Okay, that, that's that's where I am right now. <laughs> I'm not mad at that, but I'm. I the, the show's got me like wanting to research the lore now of Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. So nice. Uh, I feel like Game of the, uh, House of Dragons has me wanting to do that as well. Um, Same. What else? All right. What else have you done, or is that it? Um, that is, that's it for my Lord. That's it for my nerdy things. Yeah. All right. So let me go since I already started talking about what I did. So yeah, like I said, I watched 
I've watched Fellowship of the Ring. I watched Two Towers, both extremely long movies, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> like very, very long. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring was like close to three hours long. Um, and so is The Two Towers. Uh, and they also have the extended versions on um, Amazon, which are like four hours each. And I was just like, yeah. no. So it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot of content to get through. So yeah, I'm halfway through. I expect to be done maybe with all three I don't know, probably in the next two weeks, I think. So we'll see. Then I'll watch, I'll watch, uh, I'll watch the Rings of Power. But I'm getting a lot of mixed reactions about Rings of Power. Like everyone says that visually it's stunning. It's a very expensive show. There's a lot of CGI <laughs> and things. But I don't know. I wasn't, yeah, I, I guess I have to like give it another try. The story wasn't grasping me. It was a little, it wasn't grasping me, but I'm gonna listen to Jaja. Jaja said he likes it a lot, but Jaja also likes a lot of things that I don't like. So I don't know. So I don't know, like, really what the real what the real story is behind that. But I, I'm going to try it again just to just to say I did. I guess I, I mean, I guess if you didn't see the original Lord of the Rings, you don't know how badass Sauron is and the person that they're like chasing down. And well, I'm starting, yeah, to I guess, get, I'm starting to get the grasp mm-hmm. of that. Right. So, yeah, I. Let me, um, I, let me know when you when you. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it again. The movies. Um, watching. So, What's his? What's the elf's name in Lord Leg- Legolas? Legolas. He looks Legolas. like like he looks like Link, and that's all I can think about when I see him yes. on yes, screen. No. <laughs> that's all I kept saying when I was watching him. Uh, so I was wondering if they when uh, Zelda. Wait, what was first? Was there a Zelda, was Zelda first or was or of course was Zelda was first? I don't. Was it? I don't know. When was Before the Zelda first Lord out? of the Rings movie? Of Hold on. Well, yeah, is. I'm assuming so. So I'm just probably, wondering if they got, the... got decades on Lord of the Rings. Let's see. When did the first Zelda game come out? Oh yeah, 1986. So I wonder not... when they I wonder when they were visualizing Legolas. If they were just like taking <laughs> if they just had a very distinct vision of, the, of of Link in their head in their heads when they did this. Because he looks very much like him. I think I think a better question is which part did Orlando Bloom play first, the Pirates of the Caribbean or <laughs> Lord of the Rings? Wait, wait. That's Orlando Bloom, isn't it? No. <laughs> wait, is it? No, it's not. Is it? Wait. No, it's not. No, it's not. Wait. No. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now. Wait. I, I don't remember <laughs> seeing a minute. I don't think that is Lord of the. No, I don't. No. No, no. Who's the out that play? What's the what's the what's the let's name? See, of let's see, let's see, let's see. Cast, cast, cast. Uh no, 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 not the rings of power. Oh, he that he is Legolas. <gasps> I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's Orlando Bloom. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. That's crazy. No that doesn't I, I had no idea either. Wow, he was so young. Yeah, it was, that was pretty funny when I found that out too. <laughs> um, also, I didn't realize that Ned Stark was in this either. I was like, oh, look, it's Ned Stark uh, who played, what's his name, in the first one before he died. Um, um, what's his face? I forgot his name, but he was, he was, he was also in it. Uh, so yeah, I, so Lord of the Rings, the first Lord of the Rings came out the same year as the first Harry Potter movie. And the thing that stuck out to me the most is that the CGI in The Lord of the Rings was not as good as the CGI in Harry Potter for, for two movies that came out at the same time. It wasn't. What? Watch what it again. Talking about? Watch it again. It wasn't. Some of it looked, no, it was not all, it was not bad, but some of it was not that great. I, I, I Compared to, no, no, compared to, and I know uh, like it's, it's like the timing thing, but compared to I, another movie that came out the exact same time as it, I feel like it was not as good. I feel like that's, Oh, I feel like that's like comparing the CGI in Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power to House of Dragon right now, or like Game of Thrones. There's a lot more like, uh, the, like the mythical stuff is different. It's just different in Harry Potter. It's more like the magic is portrayed different. Like uh, Lord of the Rings was supposed to be like gritty, like Middle Earth. Like there wasn't, some, you weren't supposed to notice the CG that much. But there was I a mean, lot of CG. The CG, the CG that they showed of like Mordor in the beginning and of less of like Sauron like forging the rings or whatever they showed in the beginning. I don't remember at this point because it's been a couple weeks. It looked too CGI-ish. And then it was okay. But I just realized from two movies that came out at the same time, it was just 
I could tell that there was a difference. And that, oh, Josh, Josh, don't make that face at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my disagree face. So I'm just, just leaving like that. We're putting two saying. baddies against each other. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. Um, uh, so wait, what else did I do? I'm reading Fire and Blood, which is the book that House, uh, House of Dragon is based off of. And it's good to read it to have all that background of what's going to happen. Uh, the show has a lot of stuff to cover so i'm interested to see how everything unfolds uh but the book's been a the book's been a good read the book's been a good read uh what else have i been doing um i th- think i want to say that that's it really i feel like i'm forgetting something but whatever it's fine no, no and, gaming uh i've been playing elder elden ring still that's really the only game i've been playing um mm-hmm. i finally i beat ranala there's an update there because last time i was stuck Peter. Just clap it up. Yes. Oh yes, my God. Yes. So uh, first of all, Elden, I'll say Elden Ring is the only game I've ever played where like when I get close to beating the boss, like like your heart rate starts going up and like you start shaking because it's like I, <laughs> I cannot <laughs> I, I cannot lose again. <laughs> so like and then you're just on a high for a little bit after like and you're still shaking kind of because you're right. like, all right, I'm done. I did it. But like, yeah, that that's that happens to me. I, I know the exact <laughs> feeling you're talking about and it's crazy. That adrenaline rush is nuts. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do it again. All these because there's a lot of like two phase boss fights and I'm just like, I can't I can't keep doing this. Can't keep doing it. Mm-hmm. So like I finally did it. And then I, I'm moving on. Just can't wait to see where I get stuck again. But right now, right. <laughs> that's, that's, that is my thoughts exactly <laughs> on that game. Like I'm just chilling right now. Like, okay, where am I gonna get stuck? Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, but there is a little euphoria right after you defeat a hard boss that you've been working on. Pressing through. Can't wait for James to play. James, you're missing right. out on some <laughs> some oh, personal <laughs> development. Some... James, I'm about I'm about to gift you Elden Ring, and then you're gonna have to play it. Jeez. that's that's gonna be some pressure <laughs> i feel like you would like it i don't understand if you were playing ghost of tsushima then i feel like you would like elden ring because ghost of tsushima is not a shooter I, game i feel like if james started playing elden ring he'll come on the podcast with like one of the big ass swords that's like a prop in the background <laughs> <laughs> like, so like, so like one oh, of the man. og swords <laughs> <laughs> I just like want him I really want his opinion on it like when he plays it himself but whatever um we'll see if it happens um and I think that that's yeah I think that's it and then you know besides like watching oh yeah and of course I watched uh She-Hulk this week I've been yeah, keeping She-Hulk. up with that um and I watched House of the Dragons of course and then you know I was I caught up on all the D, uh, the D23 announcements uh from this past weekend so we'll talk about that uh James what about you what have you been up to well, uh, let's see. I've been reading my manga. Uh, so Tokyo Avengers, I'm um, all caught up. Still reading solo leveling. That's, um, yeah, that's that's climbing up there exponentially. Like solo leveling is so good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima as well. So uh, that's actually my favorite game. I, I decided this morning, like, you know what? This is my favorite game of all time. So Ghost of Tsushima, favorite game of all time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you have, you have, you almost have to play Elden Ring. That's how you feel about. That's Goku what I'm Shima. saying, right? He has right. to. For real. After I, uh, after I beat all the DLC, so I'm, I'm low key might 100% this, or at least get the platinum mm. trophy. Um, nice. Yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So after I beat the DLC, we'll, maybe we'll see. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, oh, Gerd Clothing, they had this like Instagram live interview thing. Um, I haven't really been on the shirt today. Uh, yeah, that, I that noticed I that. Um, nice. Yeah, so they had a, a new release of like a line. So I bought this cool uh, Rock Lee Letterman. So it's like nice. leather wow. sleeves, green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he, like his head is a goat face. So he, like the nickname is Goat Lee for him because she's that's her favorite character. He's the goat. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I copped that uh, jacket. That's that pretty nice. Cool. Um, yeah, well, I'll, I'll definitely show it when it, when it comes in. Um, but yeah, it was like a, like a live release kind of thing. So she was doing an interview showing off some of the new pieces from her latest collection. Um, so and that was that like pretty a, cool. Was that a limited drop or is it still available if I go to her page now? Uh, it's limited, but so it was limited to 50 pieces of each thing. So there are mm-hmm. shoes, crop tops, shorts. Um, so it's probably gone, that jacket. That sounds cool. It, like. it could be gone, yeah. Okay. Um, oh I, I no, still it's so cool. Wait. It's yeah, it's heat, gone. right? It's probably gone. I know it is. I'm going to look for it though. Okay, sorry, continue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so uh, I did that. Uh, I started watching Spriggan on Netflix. Um, it was terrible. I stopped watching it. Uh, Wait, what's, I, what's, what's that? I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, it's... It's like just a show about tropes, anime tropes. So the, okay. each ep- it's six episodes total, but each episode is like forty-five minutes. So it's okay. it's like a, a pretty lengthy thing, but 
yeah, I was watching it. It was just like so predictable. Um, mm-hmm. Like the, the villain he came was like, oh, I got this sword made by, you know, the strongest materials on earth. And then the came main characters like, well, can it be this thing that's made by the gods? And like, it was, it was just so, so predictable. And that was all in the first episode. So yeah, I was like, all right, I'm not going to watch any more of this. So I watched the first one, uh, decided to drop it. Uh, mm-hmm. No shout out to Spriggan. Uh, <laughs> but I did watch a good show on Netflix, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, part six. Mm. Well, part two of season six with Jolene. So that I binged that um, as soon as it came out. Uh, I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And then... Uh, Question to, before you get off JoJo. Are you getting the game? I think the game is out or it's about to come out. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge fighter fan like that. Like, even though I, I love multiverses, okay. I've been playing that too. But yeah, even though I love multiverses, like straight up just side fighters i'm not a huge fan well maybe gotcha. because i'm not that good but i, I played it, the demo it, though it looks good it yeah it does look fine. good my right. uh my skill level is the what's holding me back there because playing online will be no fun when i'm getting juggled like that so uh yeah but yeah jojo part six i watched and then there's going to be a third part so there uh hopefully it's it's only three parts because yeah waiting like this is kind of whack i'd rather watch week to week than 12 episodes at a time and then my last thing, oh, so I went to this, um, it was like a ramen bar, but it was called Kaiju Ramen. It had a, of course, like a Japanese anime theme. So they were playing anime in the background, like on the TVs and stuff. And then they had decoration of anime, like figurines from shows and stuff. And then a lot of Godzilla stuff, because I mean, his name, Kaiju Ramen. And then they had a speakeasy underneath. So um, you kind of walk through the stairwell and then it's like this hidden door. You open up the hidden door and there was a speakeasy in there. And then kind of, kind of the same thing, Japanese uh, and anime theme decorations and stuff like that. They had a live DJ playing. Uh, I'm kind of an old man, so I, I left by like 1030. But I mean, the DJ, he was getting started around 10. Me too, so. James. Me too. <laughs> I can't hang really anymore. So. No, I, I, I don't even try to. I, I came home and I think I went straight to sleep. But yeah, yeah that, was, that was Friday night. So <laughs> yeah, like my me. Friday night, I think I was in by like maybe midnight because it was in D.C. So I had to drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been five me minutes too. Or so. Time yeah. to go. <laughs> but yeah i mean i had a couple of drinks in there uh the drinks were really good it was one drink that i had that wasn't that good but yeah the, the rest of the drinks all the food was really good um the ramen's really good nice so yeah kaiju ramen if you guys live in the dmv area go out to dc kaiju ramen and then they have that speakeasy underneath called tokyo speak so that was nice. good that sounds cool um i have a quick question for you james so for the jacket i'm going back to girl clothing really quick oh yeah because i really want this jacket but it's not up so there you can't get access to their website anymore so did you have to like when you watched the live, did you get a link to buy the jacket? Um, no. So there was a passcode to enter the website. Oh, so it's you gone. Had to, I'm not even going to try. It's, it's yeah. gone. I know it is. Uh, okay. How much was it? Uh, it was like one something. Uh, let me check. I, I assume so. The, it's so cool. Wow. Yeah. So I, I just happened to, like, I was home chilling. Uh, yeah, it was 150. Um, okay. I was home just chilling and I saw that she was live and I was like, oh, let me check this out. And then she was like, all right, if you go to the page and like screenshot that you sign up for the email notifications, I'll yeah. send you the password. And then yeah, everything was limited to 50 pieces of each. So I'm about to hit her up. Be like, hey, girl, remember me? <laughs> <laughs> your, fav- your favorite nerd podcast. <laughs> <laughs> send me one of these. OK, um, uh, was that it for you, James? Did you have anything else? Uh, let me see my note here. Yeah, that's it for me. All righty, then. Let's get into some stuff. We have a lot of Let's stuff get to cover. Into it. We have Let's a lot of it. stuff to cover. Let's start with before we get into anything D3, let's start with the Ubisoft Forward, which Jaja watched all the Ubisoft Forward stuff. I don't know, James, if you saw any of it, but I'm gonna let Jaja take it away. <laughs> okay, the Ubisoft Forward. Let me get to my notes real quick on that. But um they they yeah, I was just gonna like browse their presentation mm-hmm. and I ended up watching like most of it, and it was like a two hour plus presentation they showed a lot of stuff um so the first thing they showed that i kind of skipped over was their mario and the rabbits game that's coming out for the switch kind of skipped over that um i saw that that rayman's gonna be a playable character if that means anything to anybody but pretty sure that's a pretty good game that people are looking forward to on the switch um they started talking about this game skull and bones oh i think i talked about that yeah last week Yeah, Yeah. yeah yeah Yeah, oh, and I was watching that presentation, and that game got right? my attention. Oh, yeah. it, told it, you. Shannon, Shannon was ahead of the curve. I was. Yeah. I was. I told you guys that game looks really good. And it comes out in November, mm-hmm. right? November 9th, or something like that? Uh, I, think so. I yeah, think so. I think so. I, I will be buying that upon release. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. They showed Riders Republic. You know, that's a... I think it's like a skateboard, snowboarding game, or a BMX game. One of those type of games. I, I didn't watch that whole thing. 
but uh rocket power the game pretty much pretty much okay um they started talking about what's coming out for the division two so they're coming out with another expansion that's supposed to wrap up the story for that game i think and they were talking about being committed to it long term and then they went into talking about the other division games that are coming out so i was a little bit confused i was like (laughs) all right so y'all are gonna support division two for a while now uh for the foreseeable future but then they're coming out with the division heartland where it looks like it's gonna be like a open world like um royal rumble type of game more more like fortnite but in division style kind of with different activities to do it looks it looks pretty good um they're also coming out with the division resurgence for mobile so we're gonna have a mobile version of the division you're going to be able to play the dark zone and everything i don't know if you guys have, are familiar with the division tom no. clancy games but it's a pretty decent like military shooter tom clancy is known for their realistic like military shooters and it's it's pretty good if you're into like guns and customization and just tactical co-op fighting um <clears throat> then we got Mo- rainbow six rainbow six coming out on mobile which is pretty cool i think that's that's pretty dope that they're getting these console games on mobile. A lot of mobile that's games, just... yeah. Mobile, I mean, a lot of people want to go on mobile. That's like where the biggest audience is because everyone has a, a phone. Like, even if yeah. you don't play games, you still have access to it on your phone. Um, they're they're going to be partners, partnering up with Netflix to come out with games on, on the Netflix platform. So uh, I think Mighty Quest and Valiant Hearts, Valiant Hearts 2 are going to be coming out. And there, there's an Assassin's Creed game coming yes. out on the Netflix platform and a TV show for Assassin's Creed. Right. And a regular console game, right? The, the... Yeah, there's an, the, I'm, I'm about to get to all the oh, Assassin's okay. Creed stuff. Then, um, so that's their Netflix partnership. Ubisoft Plus, if you want a free trial to their subscription service where you get access to all their games and all that stuff just like all the other subscription services out there. Another monthly bill. Um, whoever's into Trackmania, they, no. uh, yeah, so uh, cross-platform racer, anybody's into racer. I thought this game was out already and it was the sequel, but it looks like it's the first one. I skipped over this presentation. So if you want to learn more about presentation, uh, Trackmania, look it up. Um, Rocksmith Plus, is coming out and it's uh, a game that learn teaches you how to play the guitar or something like that. Interesting. How? Yeah, I didn't I didn't see this. <laughs> so let me not. I'm gonna skip over Rocksmith Plus. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what that is. Just Dance is coming out with a new game. They showed a the trailer for that, and then they got to all the Assassin's Creed stuff. So they're coming out with Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is the next big title for consoles. The trailer looks pretty cool. More and more of the same Assassin's Creed. And then they had a Assassin's Creed movie that's coming out along with the TV show that's coming out on Netflix. And then there's like two more games that are codenamed. One's codenamed Jade and one's codenamed Red. And I think they're like Japanese. Uh, one's going to be in Japan and one's going to yep. be in China. Something like that. Yep. So, Yeah. A lot of uh, Assassin's Creed was like their big reveal, was like the main event of their presentation. Didn't they? Didn't, I, oops, sorry. I, I was just going to say, aren't they also making like a hub type thing for Assassin's Creed where you can like access all the games? I saw something like that. I think so. Yeah. I, think so. I didn't really read too much into it, but I saw it briefly. I yeah, there was some a presentation about like 15 years of Assassin's Creed. They had all the heroes lined up and they were like, learn about all the years or something, something to that effect. But it's it gets confusing because there's so much stuff they announced about Assassin's Creed. It was like, it's okay, this is kind of nuts. <laughs> big time for Assassin's Creed. I also heard that they're getting rid of like the meta aspect of it because you know like how it was kind of Avatar esque where there was a, a real world and then they go into the world of Assassin's Creed. I heard that they were getting rid of that too. So mm. interesting times for Assassin's Creed. A lot of us. Do any of you play any like any Assassin's Creed games? Yeah, I own almost all of them. Nice. I haven't played since the first one. I, I think that the when I was on like PS3, mm-hmm. I didn't beat it. I'm just hoping that one of these games comes back out with the multiplayer that they 
did in a couple of the games. I think it was a uh, brotherhood that had a multiplayer where you were like chasing down somebody, like you had a target and mm-hmm. then your target had a target. So like everybody's going for their target and you're like hiding a cra- Assassin's Creed style, like within crowds or shadows, wherever you find a hiding spot, but you chasing somebody and then someone's chasing you. And it's, it was just crazy. It was really dope. Nice. I did. I was interested in that uh, red code name red, but yeah, people people were ripping into it because they're like, we already have Ghost of Tsushima and second row and games like that. So oh, yeah, people before Ghost of Tsushima, everybody was asking for Assassin's Creed in China, and then Ghost of Tsushima came out. Oh wait, James, where'd you go? Rainbow lines. Yeah, my fault. The TPA came about me again. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can't you can't please everybody, James. Everyone was asking for one in China, and now they're gonna yeah, rip it they, apart. They finally got a samurai Assassin's Creed, and people are upset for some reason. So I think I would check this out. This would probably get me back into that series. Yeah, yeah, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game in a long time either, like a long, long time. So yeah, that's a lot. So a lot of video game stuff coming out specifically just from Ubisoft and in general. And now we're also getting more content from Disney. Because we got a couple, we got a lot of things announced at the Disney and Marvel Game Showcase at D23. I have to say, a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff came out of D23 this year. It kind of makes me wish I had went. I definitely am going to go to D23 next year. That is a goal I have set for myself. So we're going to hold you to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go. Even though this year would, this year is the year I would have wanted to go because there was like a lot, there's like a lot of stuff. You know I what I think it is? I feel like this, this was like the, uh, post covid reset for like mm-hmm. movies and tv mm-hmm. kind of well for disney at least yeah because i see that yeah it, it just feels like now we're getting back on track it was kind of like a lull for a while but now it's like i could only hope that next year's d23 is also is going to be as you know full of good Jam content as this yeah. one if i'm going to spend money to go there but hopefully yes but yeah so let's let's talk about this and then let's talk about some other stuff. There's a lot. There's like a lot of stuff that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so what did they announce? Uh, Trana Identity announced as a puzzle based visual novel. I don't know. What is that? Like, what's the visual novel? <laughs> I, this is the first is time that, I've ever heard uh, is that a such a term. No. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, about- it's supposed to be like a puzzle game. I didn't see the trailer on it. So, yeah, they didn't show. So a lot of trailer footage so jaja said he saw some from a youtube channel i had to listen to a podcast to get descriptions of a lot of these trailers but a lot of them was just shown to the people in the room at the conference which is another reason why i said i want to go next year so there's a lot of trailers that we didn't actually get to see um but which kind of sucks but i would see like grainy sneaking a phone video clip of some of the stuff i'm like this isn't even worth trying to look at i know i had yeah yeah so i listened to a lot of like audio like descriptions of this stuff uh disney illusion island announces a nintendo switch exclusive uh so that's a 2d platformer starring mickey and minnie down on goofy Mm, more on the kids side it doesn't seem as cool as kingdom hearts but we'll see um so we got a new gameplay trailer for marvel midnight suns and a release date which is even though it doesn't say it in this little description hold on and i i wasn't really like looking forward to like Midnight Suns, like I wasn't really hyped about it because I didn't understand it at first. But the more gameplay I see, I kind of this might be my cup of tea. RPG strategy, like yeah, I might check it out. It's definitely not mine. Uh, so let me know how you like it because strategy games are not my cup of tea at all. <laughs> um, uh, what did we get? What else did we get? A new Red Hulk event coming to Marvel Strike Force. You play that game, right, Jaja? Nah. Not at all. Oh, I thought you did. I think I might have downloaded it for one second, but it's um, it reminded me of the DC game that they have for mobile. It's like a fighting game for your mm-hmm. phone. So it's pretty cool, though. Uh, you don't play Strike Force either, right, uh, Jaja? I mean, not Jaja, James. Sorry, oh, I was not yeah, paying attention not. to my dog. Just uh, a new trailer for Marvel Snap, which is the mobile game which what i don't know if finally on. got a re- release date i've been playing this game for months i'm like this is like the longest beta that i've ever been a part of <laughs> like i'm on like collection level like 850 like, I'm, like i feel sorry for the people who are just gonna get it october 18th you still gotta wait almost like a whole month for it yeah it's, so I'm, I'm i'm still playing that it's pretty good again not my cup of tea the card games not my cup of tea 
Uh, Aliens Dark Descent gameplay revealed as tactical RPG. Uh, so this is the Alien franchise. Um, and this is going to be another tactic based RPG. Mm, again, not my cup of tea, mm-hmm. but you know, for all you strategy people. Uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. That's that's a game that's coming out. Um, it's an open world avatar game. Uh, so they didn't. There was no gameplay shown, but new details revealed that the open world will take place in the western part of Pandora, which hasn't been seen in any of the films yet. So that's cool. I'm I'm going to compare this game to the Harry Potter game that comes out, and let's see who wins. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fair. Um, we got a lot of we got some new info about the Harry Potter game too, so I'm more excited for it now. Uh, Lego Star Wars uh, Skywalker Saga DLC characters have been announced. Uh, if any, for anyone who plays Lego Star Wars, uh, characters confirmed to arrive are Ca- uh, Cassian Andor, Riva, and Captain Rex. Um, what else? 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 SN- what? Sorry, I'm I'm losing my train of thought uh, here. SNES gargoyles. Yes, remastered, getting remastered. Yeah. So. I love that show. That's a that's a blast from the past there. Uh, no gameplay or release date was given. Um, Hades and other Disney villains announced for Disney Mirrorverse. I didn't realize that Mirrorverse was out already, so I'm going to play that. Yeah, I downloaded it. I didn't really get into it, though, but it's on my okay. phone. Okay, <laughs> but that's just, it's just a mobile game. I hate mobile yeah. games, but I'm going to download this and, and see what it's about. Uh, so, uh, do it, do it. <laughs> even though you just told me you couldn't get into it so that tells me no I, I just didn't get into it like I downloaded it and this I have so many games on my phone it's like yeah <laughs> <laughs> um what else Monsters Inc content coming to Disney Speedstorm I don't know what Disney Speedstorm is it's a it's a racing game oh it's a Never it's a Disney it. racing game that's coming out oh that sounds fun uh so Monsters Inc content's coming to that uh Toy Story World coming to Dreamlight Valley I didn't know that dream. Oh no, I, yeah, I didn't know Dreamlight Valley was out either because I said I saw that game and said I wanted to play it. Um, isn't this the? I, I feel like it's the Game Pass game that like just recently came out. So I, is, it, is that on? That. Is that on console or is that a mobile game also? I'm um, gonna tell you in two seconds. But yeah, yeah, Disney Dreamlight it just dropped on Game Pass. So. Oh, so it is for Xbox. Mm-hmm. Is it for PlayStation and Switch? I'm not sure, but I know we got it over here. <laughs> it can't just be for Xbox. No, nah, it's probably on everything. Dreamlight Valley. Oh yeah. Okay. Console. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Play on PC and consoles now. What consoles? Okay, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, Steam. All right. Great. Mm-hmm. You gonna check gonna... this one out? I am. I am okay. because it looks like a cute Sims Animal Crossing crossover type thing. So I I want to play that. Um, okay. I, by the way, I'm thinking of investing some money in a Switch OLED because who knows? It looks, I saw one in person the other day, like one of my friends has one and it just looks so much better than the regular Switch. And I was like, I kind of want this, but I don't know if like we should be expecting a a new Switch from Nintendo anytime soon. Like, I don't like, it would be me that buys the OLED and then the Switch Pro is announced. I don't know, I'm going to get that. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, holiday season is approaching. If they were going to announce one, I feel like they should have already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's skip to the big announcement games because there's a lot of stuff. Uh, so new Untitled Captain America and Black Panther game announced. So this looks like it's going to be cool. Uh, so this is in it's, development from Skydance Interactive. Hmm? Yeah. And the trailer shows like there's four characters you could play a soldier either Captain America, Black Panther, and, like, uh, a spy, which, like, looks like a member of the Dora Milaje. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what this gameplay is going to be yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> and this is not this is not T'Challa, Black Panther, This because this is set during World War II, and it's Steve Rogers, Captain America, not Falcon, Captain America. And so he'll be teaming up with T'Challa's grandfather, Azuri. That's the Black Panther that you're playing as. Uh, and, yeah, like you said, two other characters. And so there's no gameplay details, release date, or even a title revealed. So, you know, don't expect it anytime soon, but it's coming. Mm-hmm. This is this is giving me Dragon Ball Z Breakers vibes. Mm, I never played that game. Me neither, but it's just like a different game coming out with this with 
a franchise that we know and love and they're just making like a new spin on like, like a genre that we never even heard of. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, Is that out yet? Yeah, it's out. It just came out. That's the hide and seek game, right? Yeah. Mm, I might check it out. <laughs> um, and then they announced Marvel World of Heroes, which is from the creators of Pokemon Go. So this is going to be like a new AR-based mobile game centered around the heroes of Marvel heroes. Uh, so that's interesting. I can't really imagine like how they're going to do that, but that sounds interesting. So we'll wait for I'm that to come out. super hyped for that. And I, I have know you no are. reason to be hyped. Because you are. They didn't show anything. The trailer just showed, you know, AR superpowers on people. Yeah. But they didn't really show any like gameplay of how the game would be. So I'm interested. I assume you would be excited because you are a big Pokemon Go player still. So I would imagine that. I'd imagine that you're excited for this. Um. So all right. So we went over some video games. Let's get into some television and movie content. Um. I want to do the Pixar one. First, let's do the just because I, I know you guys care less about Pixar than I do, but there's some interesting announcements that came out of the Pixar showcase. I'm just gonna run through them um, and see if you guys are interested in any of them. Uh, so Inside Out 2 was announced. Uh, this is years after the first movie. Um, we're, this is coming out in summer 2024. Are, you, are any of you guys Inside Out fans? Guess that I am. Huh? Um, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm interested to see if my guys can fit it into the the Pixar theory. You know me and my <laughs> Pixar. I, <laughs> I, I like the Pixar theory more than the movie, but movies. But okay. I'm check it out. So we'll see. So Wish is a new movie. That's another. Uh, we're gonna get another black uh, Disney princess in this movie. Wish. Uh, it's being voiced by Afro Latina um, actress. So. That's going to be exciting. Don't really know much about the story plot, but that's coming out. Uh, I don't think we got a release date, but we have that to look forward to. Um, we got a new sci-fi movie announced, Elio. Um, so there's this other movie that's going to be interesting. Uh, and Disney is, Disney Animation Studios is partnering with an outside studio for this movie called Iwaju, I think it's pronounced. So this is a new animated series set in Africa and it marks the first collaboration with an outside studio that Disney has done in a hundred years. So that's, that sounds interesting. And the project is described as a love letter to Nigeria with the intent of showing why Lago is one of the most unique cities in the world. Uh, and it's going to tell a story of a wealthy heiress and a poor boy. And that's set to arrive sometime in 2023. So that was what grabbed my attention the most. I will be yeah, watching. I'm, that. I'm interested to know if the outside studio is an African studio. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't say who the outside studio is. So that is another interesting thing. I'm gonna do some more research into that. I'm gonna hope but so. This, this is this is interesting right here. I'll... Yeah, that's that's what stuck out to me the most. I'm definitely gonna watch this when it comes out. Um, and yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of Pixar movies that were announced. The biggest thing that I took away from this is. We finally got a trailer for the live action Little Mermaid, which I am looking forward to immensely. Um, people at D people at D23 got to see the full, like got to see a full musical number of Part of Your World by uh the very talented uh Holly Bailey, which I love her. So uh, but the trailer that they announced to the public only has like a little bit of of the song. I'm looking forward to this. The CGI looks amazing. She sounds amazing. She yes, sounds she amazing. Did. Uh all I've been I, the 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 I, reaction to the trailer has been a lot of good and a lot of very bad, not very bad, but like very like very very racist type things. And like, yes. let me stop. Don't That's come at my girl. Stuff. Don't come at my girl, Holly Bailey. She like, looks every, amazing as she the does. Little Mermaid. She does. She does. And it's not only with this. A lot of see, it's it's been this a week. A lot of it with Lord of the Rings, Gay yeah. House of Dragon. And this, the people are mad at black people playing these characters that we've right. known as like white characters, but like it's stupid. <laughs> Imagine that that's how your racism comes out because you're upset about black people playing fictional characters. It makes absolutely no sense yeah. to me. And a it just mermaid. makes you, right, a mermaid, it's a fish. She is not human. And like that stuff like gets on my nerves really. Cause like, why are you so bothered by it? Like, why are you so bothered by it guys? Why? We know the real reason. Like she's she's amazing. Don't come at my girl like that. She sounds amazing, and she probably sounds better than anyone 
white that they would have cast in that role. So just, ugh, just everyone shut up, shut yeah. up, shut up. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the movie. Like how many times have they put a white guy in like an Asian anime character's role? Like it's like exactly there's so many times, but no one comes it and no one says anything. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. So like, please, y'all let's... did blackface. Right. Shut up. Exactly. Exactly. So please, like, let's just not. Let's just stop coming at these POC characters because again, it's all fictional. It's not real. So like, just be quiet. You know how quiet. dope it was when I saw the, that black Targaryen the family? I yes. was like, yeah, that is fire. Yes. So um, fire. Better yeah. late than never. Wait, um... <laughs> Sticking to uh, black representation in media. So the studio that Disney collaborated with on Ewaldi is actually mm -hmm. a black studio um, in Great. Africa. So I just looked that yes, up. Awesome. Yes, yes. Kugali is the name of the studio. So we should go thank ahead you, and throw it out you. there. Thank you for that. And I would I would have hoped that it was an African studio and I'm glad that it is. So at least whatever we see in here will be accurate representation. Mm -hmm. Yep, um, Kugali Media, they specialize in African storytelling and they, they have a lot of um, projects out. So I'll, I'll definitely keep this site up and look more into some of their stuff. Yep. Um, <laughs> We so we also got an announcement for a Lion King movie that's coming out. It's going to be a prequel about Mufasa. You know, so I'm I'm starting to hate Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because they just before I even get paid, they just take the money from my check <laughs> and like <laughs> they just use it already. Mufasa, what? A, yo, this is a great idea. Why didn't they do this earlier? But this is going to be like live action like the other Lion King movie that they released oh, right? oh yeah. I, that's, that's what I'm oh, that's what that's, I don't I'm pulling, actually, back. I'm pulling back a little bit from that take Sorry. I don't actually know that's just what I'm assuming it looks Please like don't let it be live action oh no because <laughs> the, the title card it looks like the Lion King title card you know that was released with for the live action the live yeah. quotes, CGI film um where you I know forget. I forget we're in the day and age of live action I honestly I was not a fan of the Lion King live action just because like they're using real animals you can't really see facial expressions or anything like that it's just kind of oh, like yeah, watching the discovery you should, you should go back to that episode that we did i'm pretty sure we talked about it for like an hour yeah about how bad the movie was <laughs> i actually never seen it in its entirety when i went to the theater i fell asleep for half of it so i have never watched mm. the full thing oh no i stayed up so i could take notes on and rip it apart how, how bad it was oh yes it does say here that the movie will use the same animation style from the 2019 live action line can you make um okay i'm skipping <laughs> that. i'm skipping it i'm not going to see that in the movie theater i'm sorry yeah. unless y'all unless y'all get my boy from instagram lej art who did all those remodels to make it look a little bit more like mm -hmm. cartoonish but it was still live action where you could see the emotion on the animals faces they need to hire him. If they don't, I'm scared. Yeah, that. I feel like they need to like, I feel like hopefully they take some criticism from that and like work it into this movie. I don't know. But the movie's set for 2024. So like, don't even worry about it now, guys. We have some time left before that comes out. Mm -hmm. Um, We also have a live action Snow White coming in 2024. Not that excited about that. Wait, before, before you continue, I'm starting to, is it, do, is it like a fact that Disney has this contract where they have to rehash the movies every 10 years or is that like a, a conspiracy or a myth um i think it's a conspiracy i don't know but like we in know the disney vault there's a contract that says every 10 years come out with these classic movies somehow remake this because it's well, happened it's been happening i don't know it might i mean i don't i can't say for sure i can't okay. say for sure continue um, i'm sorry i mean it might be true who knows but uh you know they're trying to keep they're trying to keep numbers up so you know, doing all these live action movies, I guess, is the best way, is the yeah. best way to do that without being that creative coming up with Keeping their thing. stories. Alive. Right. I was about to say they're just rehashing stuff. Yeah. Uh, so we're also getting a Peter Pan and Wendy movie. Is this the movie that is coming out on Disney Plus? Is this the movie that Yara Shahidi is playing Tinkerbell? If so, then I will be watching it. Um, got to support, got to support the um, got to PLCs. Um, but I think it is um so they're redoing haunted mansion which i'm not really a fan of because the first one was good and i feel like it wasn't that it wasn't that long ago that it came out um did you guys see that movie with eddie murphy yeah okay so yeah reboot of the haunted mansion um and then we're finally getting a sequel to the movie enchanted which came out in 2007 uh which i know you guys have not seen <laughs> but um 
it's a good movie and the sequel is now coming out years and years later so i'm excited for that um we got a trailer for hocus pocus 2 which people are obsessed with but i don't really understand the hype behind it but people love that movie for some reason so spooky season it's just yes yeah, people that yeah. love spooky season love hocus pocus yeah it's i'm like gonna a watch starter kid yeah i'm gonna watch it but yeah. you know oh, it comes out this month yeah this month september 30th right in time for halloween season so that's that's gonna be good so those are the announcements that came out of the just general yeah. disney and pixar i'm excited for a lot of this stuff most excited for little mermaid because that is my favorite disney movie so i'm very excited Yo, uh, checking that out. Yes. And Iwaji. And Iwaji. And Iwaj- yes, yes, yes. Of course. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the Marvel and Star Wars panel. Lots and lots of things from the Marvel and Star Wars panel. So much. So, got a trailer for Mandalorian season three. Um, I have to seeing this trailer made me realize that I have to watch. I still have not watched Book of Boba Fett. I still have not watched Obi-Wan. I have not watched any of that stuff. So I need to go back and watch it uh baby yoda's or grogu grogu's back so i definitely have to catch up um because i thought that grogu was not going to be involved in the show anymore maybe i should have known better so but i'm excited now um and it looks really good so i'm gonna be i'm excited for that and that's gonna be coming out sometime in 2023 as well uh is anyone excited james did you watch the mandalorian no okay jaja you watched the mandalorian (laughs) though right (laughs) wait you don't watch the mandalorian either Get out of here. What is wrong with you guys? I should. I'll I'm, 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 I'm tell you this. I'm going to go back and watch um, The Mandalorian. And what's the other one that came out? Uh, Book of Boba Fett. Bo- Book of Boba Fett. And Obi-Wan. I did watch. I watched Obi-Wan. And okay. Obi-Wan was nice. And I see that Andor is about to come out. And Andor is a couple cool. others that got my attention. So I might have to go back and watch Mandalorian. And yeah, Book of Boba you guys Fett. have to watch Mandalorian. Mandalorian is so good. But I told you, I, I told you my thing about Star Wars, though. Like, I'm, I'm, I like this universe, but like, you know, I'm very picky. Okay. I just want to see Jedi. Just show me the Jedi's. I don't want to hear about <laughs> there's some. Listen, don't like listen. Only Man, one Man, Jedi Man... left in the universe. No, I want to see all the Jedi. That's it. The Mandalorian is very good. You should definitely watch that. <laughs> um. So we got a trailer for Secret Invasion. Uh, which I think is coming out in 2023. I This trailer made me excited to get back into the seriousness and storytelling of Marvel after getting a lot of comedy and like lighthearted things from them. This seems like a return to form and I am very excited about it. Um, yeah, advancing I, the storyline of the yeah, MCU. There you go. Advancing, mm-hmm. Yeah, advancing the storyline. That's a better way to put it. I, I was excited to see this and know that we're getting back to that at some point. The light yeah. stuff is cool. Like She-Hulk is cool and it's funny, but I miss you know, the interconnectivity of it all. And I miss like the seriousness uh-huh. of it all leading up into the next big thing type of thing. I feel like this show gives them a chance to revisit like past plot lines. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? They could go back to anything and be like, oh, Scroll was here, you know, so. And I hope that, cool. I hope this show is more than six episodes, please. That's that's my one wish for this. Um, uh-huh. Nick, Nick Fury looks cool in this trailer. It seems like he's been through a lot. He grew so, his beard. That's, that's yeah. the struggle beard, yeah. <laughs> when you're going beard. through something, you grow a beard. Yeah. Um, we got a lineup um, of the people that are going to be on the Thunderbolts team. Mm-hmm. This was um, one of my favorite presentations. Yeah. So I don't gonna, know if it's because I like Elena so much, but I probably. think the roster's cool. <laughs> I mean, so we're going to get Red Guardian, Ghost, uh, the U.S. agent, Taskmaster, uh, Yelena, and um, Bucky as well. I'm excited that he uh-huh. is continuing his storyline um, and we're going to see him. But a little disappointed about um, Taskmaster. Abomination. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Abomination Sorry. was not mentioned. But that also might be because She-Hulk is still playing. Maybe they just intentionally left him out. Maybe he's still going to be in it. I don't know. But they just didn't want to say so yet because She-Hulk is still airing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's, what I, that's what I took from that. Um, but if he's not at all, that's going to be a little disappointing. So we'll see. Um, but Taskmaster, I feel like we didn't get enough from Taskmaster in what what was Taskmaster in again? Um Black Widow. Uh, Black, Black Widow. Widow. Or for me to care about them enough for them to be in this uh movie. And also Ghost. Ghost was in um what was Ghost Ant-Man. in? Ant Man. I think that's Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah. I feel like I didn't care about them enough 
for them to be in this. But me, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll feel differently about it when the movie comes out. Um, I don't know if you feel the same about that or if you don't really care. Cause no, like, I'm, I, I like this roster. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I'll, I'll it'll, check it'll, out it'll hold me over <laughs> until Avengers, the next Avengers or Young Avengers. Oh yeah, I'm still excited about it, but I'm just wondering. Anyway, whatever. Um, I don't know. Did we get a release date for Thunderbolts? I don't think we did. Doesn't look like it. No, no. Um, but it's coming. The, the way, the way. So from the video that I saw from a guy holding his phone in the crowd filming it, <laughs> I mean, like he's he's make, he's hyping it up as not like as big as the Avengers, but he's like, you know, we don't have an Avengers team right now, and that doesn't mean there's not some superhero that's going to team up and form a squad. So he's like, kind of like framing it like the Avengers, and you know, with the. Uh, the lady who's recruiting her, re- recruiting them, who's like the Nick yeah. Fury of the group. It's it's a lot of parallels. Val, so, like. yeah, yeah. It, it should be a good movie. Um, whenever it comes out, I don't actually think it's been. Ra- I don't think the like the writing and production of it has started at all. But um, we have a we have a cast, so that's one step. Um, we got a first look at Loki season two. Well, not we, but the people that were at D at D23, <laughs> which is why audience. I want to, yeah, the lucky audience, which is why I want to go next year. Cause I feel like we didn't get to see a lot of the good stuff. Um, so Anything I'm going to do with Kang. I'm ready. That's at the top of my hype train right now. Kang. It all. Kang. That's all I want to see. I'm assuming that we're going to get Loki in 2023. Also season two. Um, Mm-hmm. So we got new Daredevil details. Um, no footage, but um, no footage. Was- they just they just brought um, Kingpin and and Charlie Cox out there. Yeah, um, and they made a couple jokes. <laughs> it's gonna be eighteen episodes. Um, like we we talked about this previously. Um, and according to Charlie Cox, it's going to be a very emotional ride. We'll see. And they showed footage of him and She Hulk as a uh, compromise. Yes whatever yes um so we talked about andor a little bit from star wars um that we're getting at as well um so the people at d23 not us got footage of the marvels um which i listened to a podcast where they explained really what was shown and it kind of explains what happened at the end of miss marvel Marvel. where they switched places apparently their powers are connected uh miss marvel Captain Marvel and Photon, their powers are connected. So whenever one of them uses their powers, it switches places with one of the three, I think, is the plot that they are. So, I know I, I know the way they explained it was that it, like, uh, yeah, they all basically like swapped places, yeah. something like that. Yeah, um, and it, it's connected to the use, it's connected to the usage of their powers. But according to this, it's more framed as like a comedy of them trying to figure out like how to you know, manage this or stop it from happening. No, so we'll. I don't we'll... Wanna, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 they better show these three girls tearing up some, tearing some stuff up. I don't know if it's going to be, I feel like, I don't know if it's going to be more on the serious side. I feel like it's going, it's going to be more on the comedic side. So um, just going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if they turn but... Captain Marvel into dumb Thor, <laughs> I don't. I don't think they're gonna. I'm gonna be mad. I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't think they're gonna do that. I mean, if it, just because it's more comedy doesn't mean that it's not gonna show. It could be a good balance, like Ragnarok was a good balance between comedy and 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 drama and action. It could be more like that. As long as I'm just it's saying, like, with with those power sets, I would like to see them with the stakes, with high stakes. Put it like yeah. that. I don't know if we're gonna get high stakes in this movie. Maybe in the end credit scene, but we'll see. I like I have no concept of it because I didn't see it. So we'll 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 see. Um D23 audience got new Black Panther kind of forever footage, um, which showed a lot of Angela Bassett um appearing at the UN and talking about how uh, T'Challa is dead or whatever. And we got they got a lot of footage from that. I kinda I really wish I really want to see that, but it's fine. Uh Black Panther. So we only have a couple months left till Black Panther, so I can I'll wait, I guess. They gave some explanation um, in to the trailer that we saw. We see Angela Bassett getting up and yelling like, you know, my family's been destroyed, like all that stuff. And I gave, I guess they gave some a little bit more explanation behind that. Like you could see like armies attacking Wakanda trying to steal like vibranium. Yeah. And I think she like caught some of them and brought them to that 
presentation like here look at these guys trying to steal from us like you guys are attacking us and all this stuff so yeah um i'm very much looking forward to this i wish i had seen i wonder when they're going to release this footage to the public since we are like two months away from it two or two and a half months away from it it'll probably be Um, as soon as we finish recording yep um so captain america uh we got some more footage from that like uh the falcons captain america uh tim blake nelson who appeared in the incredible hulk way back in 2008 uh as the leader uh he was the one where you know the gamma radiation like leaked into his brain at the end Mm -hmm. and then we never got a follow-up from that ever um but he's gonna be in this movie so a random blast from the past there so that's cool and it's this is the first time it's really connecting the incredible hulk to anything happening in this new marvel universe um because we just like assumed it was all canon but this is the first like real attachment i mean they abomination they brought back oh yeah Abomination. so besides that i completely forgot it he completely they're trying to i think we're getting more war hulk man they're trying to make hulk more and more relevant yeah i feel like we're getting that i hope so hopefully yes um uh kevin and it's gonna be interesting uh for captain america to build because like we said like there's no avengers team right now everyone is either dead or like not really messing around with the avengers anymore so it'd be interesting to see where this new avengers team comes from and who they're who's going to be in it so uh got updates that ant-man and the wasp quantumania will directly link to avengers king dynasty which we already knew um looking forward to that immensely uh, they got some footage for that too, which we didn't get, but they got they got all the cool stuff and we didn't get anything. All the stuff. We need some press passes. I know. Marvel, we know you're listening because mm-hmm. you guys listen to us. Uh, give us some press passes. Yeah, can we get press passes D23? Maybe next year. Kevin guys. Feige, come maybe, on. Now. Maybe we'll be big enough next year to get uh, I mean, invited uh, to D23. Yes, <laughs> I yes. mean, shout out to all the people who are giving the the good descriptions and the little grainy videos because at least we got something yeah, yeah we won't sneak true. any phone footage marvel we'll just report on the well, i think i think the conversation continued from when king was telling um ant-man that he killed all the avengers that conversation like continued a little bit mm. so that's all i forget what exactly what was said but okay but I'm looking forward to that immensely um so in addition to all this stuff, we're getting a Halloween special from Marvel, uh, Werewolf by Night. Did you guys see that trailer? I didn't look so at it. We, we, we talked about this special coming out, I feel like, at least a year or two ago. Like really? we said, oh, they're coming out with a Halloween special, Werewolf by Night. And I was like, yeah, uh, something on the back burner. Oh, I wasn't we really did. excited about this. But after seeing the trailer... It looks I'm a hundred percent gonna watch this. Like, yeah, yeah, it, it, it looks, looks very interesting. It does. It looks like the perfect thing to get you in the Halloween spirit. Spooky. Oh spirit. yeah, definitely. It looks really good. So I'm it's definitely gonna be watching that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be watching that for sure. Yo, um, grab your grab your candy corn. You guys eat candy corn? No. Oh, I like candy corn actually. I'm the only one. Do you like candy corn, James? I do not. Oh. Jaja, candy do you like candy corn? Awesome. Corn? Thank you, Jaja. You're like the oh, only person I'm, I know that I'm likes candy corn. What is the be- What is your favorite Halloween candy then? I actually don't really like candy. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't really like candy either. I'm more of a chocolate eater, but I do like candy corn. And right. like every time I say that I like candy corn, people look at me like I'm crazy. You don't have to eat candy. You can't. You can't. You, you can still have yeah. a favorite candy. Candy I like corn. Nerds. Is, nerds is good. But um, nerds. I haven't but like Halloween candy though. Oh, yeah. Halloween time. Oh man, I'm just I'm just there for the vibes. Okay. All right. All right. Candy, candy corn, corn is, is good. Stop coming at me because I like candy corn. It's delicious. Yeah, candy everyone... corn slander gets out of hand. I'm like, it does. Ready to go to war it really does. It, it's delicious. I don't know what y'all are talking about. People were talking about it tastes like candle wax. I'm like, how do you know what candle <laughs> wax tastes like? Come on, guys. <laughs> it's it's really... <laughs> And I know what candle wax tastes like. And it Why? don't taste like that. Why do you know what candle oh, wax tastes like? I don't. What are you doing <laughs> in your spare time, man? <laughs> Listen, the candle smell really good one time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Just had to try it. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, candy corn's amazing. Um, we got a trailer for Echo, not we, again, the G23 audience. Um, is anybody I'm interested in Echo, but I wish that if there were if Echo was getting her own show, I wish they did a better job of building her up a little bit in um 
in um Hawkeye because I feel like we got not that much of her for us to be super excited about her own spinoff show. Do you guys feel right. that way? Or are you guys excited? Yeah, no, I feel the same way. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm watch it. Echo. Josh is just hype for everything. So that <laughs> that's that's great. I'm gonna watch it. Listen. I'm just saying they could have built her up a little bit better for us to get us interested in her own series. But this is the build up. This is the build up. I mean, I guess we gotta, I didn't. We gotta see what that trailer looks like. Yeah, release the trailer to the public, please. When mm-hmm. when when are we gonna get that? Um, we got first Ironheart footage shown at D twenty three. Again, I'm ready. Not us. I'm ready for that too. That's gonna be exciting. Um, a lot. So yeah, a lot of Marvel stuff. Um, they announced the actor that was gonna be playing the Red Hood and and that yes, movie too. the Red the Red Hood is gonna be the villain. And that some speculation is gonna be magic versus tech type of thing. So we'll see. Um, yeah, so the redhead guy uses dark magic, so awesome. That. Uh, that's gonna be great. Uh, a lot of people, some disappointed that we didn't really get any substantial Fantastic Four information. We just got the director. Um, I think the was it the, the director of Loki is gonna be directing one of those directors, one, one of the directors. Guys. I forgot <laughs> it's gonna be directing um, Fantastic Four. We didn't get any cast announcement for Fantastic Four though, yet, so. I know people and, were looking forward to that. Yeah. I don't know if we were going to cover this, but the, I'm not totally a lot into the Star Wars CGI like animated stuff, but that Tales of the Jedi might be, might be, might be lit. Might be watch, I might watch that. It's a children's show, though. Just want to warn yeah. you. Yeah. It's um, advertised as a children's the show. Trailer <laughs> looked, the trailer looked not that kitty. So, okay. Okay. So, like it didn't feel kitty. Okay. So, you know, you'll give that a try. Let me know how it is. I don't, I don't think I'm going to. Now you just shame me on, on that <laughs> No, I'm just saying. <laughs> going out to the edge now. I might just oh. take that back. I'm not, I ain't going to watch that. I mean, I mean, watch it. <laughs> watch it. Go. If that's what you want to do, you go ahead. You go ahead and watch I'm it. I'm check it out. Um, we got new clips. Uh, apparently, the G23 folks got a lot of new clips for Avatar, um, which I can now be excited about since I watched the first one. Um, but that's coming out in December, so can look forward to that. <laughs> um, and then just to touch on Star Wars stuff really quickly, because I, you guys don't like Star Wars, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> but um, so brief appearance from Ashoka. Uh, no trailer was released, but brief, uh, brief updates on that. Uh, Star Wars Bad Batch Season 2 is coming in January 2023. Um, Tales of the Jedi original shorts is getting a trailer and a release date wait is that what you were talking about or were you saying something else yeah no that was that oh was. wait this might be something different then never mind okay i don't know but i'll take it back for now Jada, because i think i'm confusing it with something else yeah check out the trailer i mean it could be it's like that cgi animated style but like the tone oh is, you know what it is it's, it's a little serious there's a show called young jedi that's coming out and that's a kid's show or, so I'm or getting clone a- wars this might be a kid's show as well yeah, uh, it's the Young Jedi's. That's a kid show that's coming out. So sorry, I take it back. I apologize. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to this year. Um, lots of stuff in 2023, and you know, a lot of stuff in 2024 also. But this was a good T23. Wish I was. Wish I was there. I'm gonna be there next year. Um, do you guys have any more thoughts before they, we wrap for the week? Just me and Marvel. They're pretty good at this stuff. This advertising they are. stuff. They are. Yeah, they've given us a lot to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So you um, guys were complaining that nothing was coming out here. Let me jam all this stuff down your throat. Yeah, that's D23. literally. And that's right. good. I love when I have stuff to watch. So I'm looking forward to everything. Oh, big um, time. Any other thoughts before we wrap? Oh, we ran out of time, guys. Let's just quickly go through. Are you guys enjoying She-Hulk? Are you guys enjoying She-Hulk? Yeah, I'm like, yes. Okay, cool. Are you guys... Yeah, I'm enjoying we can, it. Too. We can break it down next part, but I, for the most part, I am enjoying it. I, there are a couple gripes I have with it, but yeah, that's what it is. Are you guys enjoying House of the Dragon? Is that even a question? Well, I feel I'm really asking. I know you're like as James soon as we get off this pod, I, I might try and rush and watch that before football comes on. <laughs> I feel like I feel like James is not enjoying it as much. James, am I uh, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I fell off. <laughs> I, I watched it. the second episode. I'm like, I knew it. You, you, you know what you know what happened so when we when we talked about the first 
um, episode and James made a comment about how it should be called House of Dialogue because there's too much talking. When the second episode came on and it literally was a lot of talking, I was like, I know James is not going to be interested in this. Yeah, I knew after it. that one, and I was, I was like, right. nah, I was right. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> I'll go back and watch the fight scenes. It can't be all James. It can't be all action all every, the time. I mean, here every time, con- every conversation, just like I feel like in every in Game of Thrones, every conversation was about the Game of Thrones. This co- this uh, the conversations. There's so much happening in those conversations. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a it's try. A lot yeah. of, I, I stopped after two. How many? It's are a lot of like. like what's the there's word? three like, out so far. Politics. The fourth one comes on today. The politics yeah. is the drama in this show. Like that's yeah. what. James, try to get for who's gonna rule Westeros? Oh but James, God. no oh, show, yeah. no show is all action all the time. There has to be yeah, like right about that. there has to be advancement of the story plot. You know, it can't just all be action. I guess I was expecting it to be a lot of action because people would always talk about the different action scenes and like, all right, well, where are these action scenes at? So yeah, maybe that's what's throwing me off. But I'll, I'll check it out. I'll get, I'll get a third episode to try after the, after we wrap up today, and then if I'm liking the third, I'll watch the fourth when it drops tonight. Okay, I knew that James was. I knew it. I had. Yeah, I just. I knew definitely. It. I fell off hard. I knew. I knew it was gonna happen. But yeah, we'll we'll catch up on it more uh, next week. I know that there was just a lot going on this week, so we don't have time to cover it. But it is good. Well, actually, hopefully, you guys will record without me because I'm going to Alaska this week, so I'm not gonna be here next week. But you guys should Ooh. feel compelled. Oh, boys! Record. Episode. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me and Jack you guys are sh- gonna talk about Tokyo Rangers. Yes. Feel compelled oh, to record without me. I gotta watch the two. I gotta read the two new chapters. I'm two chapters behind. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, record without me so we can keep the good content going. Talk about all the stuff that you guys want to talk about that I have no input on. Yeah, talk about Tokyo Revengers. Do it. Do it for sure. Yeah. Um, make, make sure you da- read it on the plane to Alaska so you can be caught up. Yeah, I'll read it on the plane to Alaska. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I will. Um, but yes, uh, if there's nothing else, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Oh, no, Instagram, sorry, Apple's Nerds, and on Twitter, Apple's Nerds, and on TikTok, Apple's Nerds underscore pod. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, which is also Apple's Nerds. Uh, send us an email, blurredsnerds at gmail.com, and rate, review, and subscribe on your podcast listening app of choice. As always, I'm Shannon. I'm James. I'm Jaja. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Peace. <laughs>